Hello math experts, this is Miss Sam, your favorite math teacher. In this word problem, we will identify perpendicular lines in a shape. Where do we start? You know where. Let's find the keywords. Before we go on with this very easy math problem, remember to subscribe to my channel, guys, because you can learn a lot of math here. Okay, let's start. Which figure appears to have no perpendicular lines? Uh, can you identify the keywords? Yeah, we have the word no. This is very important. Perpendicular size. So what do we have to look for? A shape that does not have perpendicular sides. But do you know what is a perpendicular side? It forms right angles. 90 degree angles and we're about to find them inside of the shape. Let me show you a very cool trick. With a little piece of paper you get the corner and here, voila, you have a 90 degree angle. What do we need this paper for? Label the angles on each shape. Thank you for that cool trick. So here we have a right angle and another right angle. There you go. Okay, so can this be the answer? No, 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 that's not the answer. Keep going. Let's try with B. Okay, I'm using, okay. Uh-oh, this is a hidden right angle because just looking at this, some of my kids will think that this is an intersecting line, but look guys, this is a right angle. What about this one? Turn the paper. Another right angle, which means perpendicular lines. So can this be the answer? Stop, that's a trick. Don't fall for it. We didn't fall for this one. What about C? Okay, let me measure this angle. Okay, vertex with vertex. And this is greater than 90, so this is an obtuse angle. What about this? Rotate the paper. Vertex with vertex. Okay, we found a perpendicular line here. What do you think, guys? No, no, no. That's not the answer. Keep going. Oh, I forgot to cross them out. So most likely is D, but let's make sure it is. Okay, first angle. Definitely an obtuse angle because it's more than 90. Rotate the paper, line with line, vertex with vertex. It's greater than 90. Rotate the paper, line with line, vertex with vertex. Definitely greater than 90, another obtuse angle. Rotate, rotate, rotate line with line, vertex with vertex, definitely obtuse angle, and the last angle, let's see, line with line, vertex with vertex, and you can see that this is also an obtuse angle. So this is our answer. That was awesome, I love math. Thanks for watching, remember to like, Share this video with other kids that are learning math so we can get the best scores ever. I want to give a big shout out to Carla Perez because she is almost a mathematician. Make sure you also check these other cool math videos where you can learn a lot of math and become a math expert.